No, we, we never have all the freedom. Sometimes when the budget is, is a bit smaller, we we, uh, we ask for that freedom. Then it's kind of a good deal. Uh, but I think that this has been a process that's been going on for like 12 to 30 years. We've always basically done what we actually wanted to do, not because of that it, it earns us money, but just because we got better doing those jobs. So I, I think we still do that. Um, in the end, uh, those jobs will find you no matter how. Uh, so we, it's kind of also a system that grows. I mean, the, the uh, agents that represent us around the world actually filter uh, basically the bad shit from the good shit. So right nowadays we only get, I really have to say, we only get good projects in here. So we actually feel very fortunate, but it's, it's been hard work, so. Well, what we've actually done is, because we also saw a lot of young designers that are really talented, and I think like three years ago we decided to uh, create this sub-label within Post Panic. It's called Panic Program. And it's actually designed for young guys who are, and, and girls, <laughs> who are very talented, but you know, they're not there yet. So they can work within a safe environment, you know, which is Post Panic. Um, and we can, you know, give them the, the, the jobs that they actually need to build up a portfolio so they can develop themselves further and then hopefully become uh, more established and seasoned directors. So that for us is a really good system of, you know, uh, educating and also, uh, you know, uh, developing these, these youngsters. Yeah, I think it's great. Uh, in fact, we are working on a short film now, which is called Sundays, uh, and we're going to be shooting next week in Mexico City. Yeah. Uh, and we, through crowdfunding on Kickstarter, we've raised enough money to come actually out here and, and do the shoot here in Mexico City. Uh, so for crowdfunding, I think it's a, it's a great platform not only to, to raise some money in our instance, but also to, uh, to gather a crowd or an audience, uh, you know, that, that people that are, get really excited about the project and support you basically before, you know, the, the, in our case, the film is actually realized. So I think for those reasons, it's, uh, it's a very uh, attractive way of uh, you know, getting money but also getting support. And it's nice to have interaction with those people as well. Uh, as, far as, as far as animation, animation has been taking giant steps uh, since we've actually went to art school. Um, I think it's the, it's the future of filmmaking to, to ask me. I mean, uh, I come from animation myself, and uh, going into filmmaking, uh, the way of thinking is, is completely different. As a director, uh, as an animator, you won't be stopped by uh, film laws that are like 80 years old, or uh, like a camera uh, move that is not you know, physically possible. Um, an animator, just us. Uh, so that's how you get into a script. That's how you get into the story, <laughs> and then we'll, you know, we'll solve it later. And right now, we live in an era where anything is actually possible. So we're, animators are very well equipped uh, to direct movies right now because everything is makeable. You can actually uh, your your fantasy is, is limited right now. So I think that the best directors out there, the most creative ones, have always kind of an animation background. <laughs> To them. So I think it's a it's a very exciting uh, time for animation, but it's developing. So I don't even know if you can call it animation anymore. It's been such a vague territory, like with motion design and actual. Uh, yeah, we we still get viewed as as animators or motion designers. And I have to say, I haven't animated for a while. <laughs> so, but I, I do. I still have that attitude, the animation attitude, with uh, the film style and making. So.